Okay, howdy. So the purpose of this video is to determine, or really answer the question, what are proofs? So what do they mean? What is a proof? And then we'll talk about some of the specific rules in later videos. So a proof is essentially just a way to determine the validity of an argument, right? Just like everything we've been talking about. So let's say we're given these pr premises. Bill danced and Mary danced, right? That's premise number one. If Bill dances, then Jake dances, premise number two. And our conclusion, Jake danced. So all a proof really is is just a series of logical assumptions that we make based on information every single day. So let's say, okay, well, can I prove this conclusion based on what I know, which are the two premises? So Bill danced and Mary danced. If Bill dances, then Jake dances. So is it reasonable to conclude that Jake danced? Well, I know that if Bill dances, then Jake danced, right? And I know from the first line, right, that Bill danced. So I know that Bill danced, and I know that if Bill dances, then Jake dances. So based on this line and this line, I can conclude that Jake danced, right? That's all a proof really is. That's essentially the, the idea, except switched into logical form. So instead of Bill dances and Mary dances spelled out in English, we just maybe use capital B instead of and, right? Symbolized with a dot, Mary dances, just like symbolization. So instead of Bill dances, then if Bill dances, then Jake dances, right? We have if Bill dances, then Jake dances. And our conclusion would just be symbolized with Jake dancing. So a proof would essentially be to set it up like this, right? B dot M on line one. Line two would just be our second premise. And our goal would be to get the conclusion. So now, what can I do to manipulate these two lines to get the conclusion? Well, right, we're going to talk a little bit, we're going to talk in detail about these rules, but essentially, right, this is what it would look like. Okay, I want to get to J. Well, I can get B from line one. And a rule that we'll talk about later is called simplification. So line one, simplification. Right? And then four, right? Just like up here, if I know that Bill danced and Mary danced, then I know that Bill danced, right? An assumption we make all the time. So that's what that represents. But instead of just saying, if I know this and that, then I know this, we call it simplification and we give it a fancy name. So then, now that I know that Bill danced, well, if Bill dances, then Jake dances, and I know that Bill danced, so that's just regular old modus ponens, right? And I use the conditional from line three, and the antecedent was confirmed. Sorry, I used the conditional in line two, and the antecedent was confirmed in line three, and that's modus ponens. And I finish because I got the conclusion. Now, obviously, you're not supposed to know all that different stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about the proofs in general in detail, but that's essentially what a proof looks like. It's taking a series of assumptions or premises and trying to determine if you can get to the conclusion. So next, we're going to talk a little about the individual rules themselves and how to use them. And then we'll talk about the strategy of when to use the proofs, right? Uh, I use the metaphor of building a house. Before you can build a house, you have to know how the tools work. So the next videos are going to talk about how the tools work. And then we're going to learn how to use those tools to build a house.